I want you to consider some thoughts this morning. Deuteronomy chapter 4 talks about the nation of Israel, the people themselves, and God has specific instructions for them. One of the things that I see in verse 6, it says that if you obey them, meaning the commandments that God has given them, if you obey them carefully, you will display your wisdom and intelligence to the surrounding nations. Think about that. What God is saying is, if my people, who are called by my name, would humble themselves and seek my face, that's really what he's talking about, living a life that's reflected of the God that you're serving. He said, if you do this, the people around you will see their wisdom. I've wondered sometimes if the problems in our world, in our culture, in our country, are the result of the politicians and those that we've elected, or whether or not it's us who are followers of Christ that we call the church, that we failed. That we failed in keeping the covenant of God, and therefore, we're the problem. He says something else later in this verse. He says, and if you search for me, in other words, after you've been scattered because of your disobedience, if you search for me with all of your heart, and all of your soul, then, then you will find him. You know, I think sometimes we take it for granted that God's just going to bless us. But blessings don't come as a result of disobedience. I think the call of God is for us to be obedient, not for the government to change or the right elected officials come into play. I think we're called to be his people. And quite frankly, I don't know how well we're doing at that. I don't know how well I'm doing at that. But when I look at this idea of praying with all of my heart and all of my soul, I even ask the question, how am I doing in that area? Think about those things today, would you, as you go through your day on this Sunday. Think about your own life. Hey, until next time, God bless.